Antarctica. Now, first and foremost, there is no ice wall. Doesn't exist. So if you think there's an ice wall, get it out of your head. That's more pseudoscience. Doesn't exist. Okay. Antarctica is an amazing place. First and foremost, Antarctica was not in the original location it's in right now. Antarctica shifted into that spot. Okay. If you go back, if you were able to rewind the geological time clock, you discover that based on tectonic plate movement, the movement of the plates of the crust of the earth over the magma, you discover that Antarctica was actually closer to the equator. And how do we know this? We know this because the ice caps are melting. Antarctica ice is melting right now, and it has been for quite some time. And guess what we're finding in Antarctica? We're finding animals that were flash frozen. Animals that were flash frozen. How can that happen? That means that when the tectonic plates shifted, the land mass moved from equator to a northern position extremely fast. Okay? Extremely fast. Creating two problems. One, a global flood. Because when you move that much mass, you're going to displace liquid. And that displaced liquid washes over the land, creates a global flood. flood. Global floods don't come from rain. They come from land masses shifting. Okay? The second thing that you have is uh, every animal, plants, and everything else are flash frozen. Now, what more evidence do we have of this besides the way that they've been preserved? When they do an autopsy on these, uh, these deceased animals and they cut them open, guess what they find? Undigested food in their stomachs. The food in their stomachs is not digested, which means they were frozen very, very fast. Which means that they came from an area that was much more, much warmer, uh, more tropical before it shifted into that location. And they're also finding a lot of crazy things under the ice, remnants of ancient civilizations that were just now start are just now starting to be seen. So Antarctica is really an amazing place. Um, and there's going to be so many amazing discoveries coming out of that place. It's just up to whether they decide to disclose them to us or not.